Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to boost your FPS in all games uh, on your PC. So this is pretty much like uh, what kind of setup that you need to do with Windows and what other stuff that you can do with your hardware to make sure that you always maximize your FPS when you play a game. So the first thing that you really want to do is your uh, launch setup. So Control Alt Delete Task Manager and go to Startup. In Startup, you will see all the program that start when uh, you start your computer and you have the Startup Impact. So are they like high, medium or low? All the things that you don't really use and you're, I don't know if you use it like one time in three months, just disable them and you will uh, save a lot of resources on your computer. So for example, I don't know, Stream Deck element, uh, Stream Deck, sorry, I don't want to use it. You right click on it, you press disable. And as you can see over there, I have all those programs that are disabled when I launch my computer. So you're going to make sure, first of all, that uh, you maximize your RAM, you maximize your CPU and also your GPU, because sometimes those programs use a little bit of GPU, uh, a bit of CPU also, and they're taking for sure RAM. So this is a way that you can uh, optimize your uh, PC when you start up and you make sure that everything is clean and you don't have to close a lot, a lot of bloatware or other stuff. And also, if you don't know what it's opening on your computer, maybe you will have some surprise here, like some McAfee stuff and those antivirus uh, bloatware that you wanna disable. So now your drivers in your search bar, write update. And in the Windows update, make sure that you click the check for update and you have the latest version. So always make sure that your Windows is up to date. Really important. The second thing is go on the internet, go to your motherboard um, builder. Like um, for me, it's giga gigabyte. So I'm gonna write X570 uh, master. This is the model of my uh, mobile. So you click on it go to support you have pretty much the same option if you have an asus one uh, whatever brand msi and etc etc make sure that you select your driver and us so for me it's windows 10 64 bit so for an example the audio really important take the latest one one from real tech so this one is from this year uh, another really important one is the chipset for me, I'm not a big fan of updating my chipset on the uh, on the Gigabyte website. Normally, I have an AMD processor, so I just go on the AMD website and I download the latest version from their chipset. And you can do pretty much the same thing with Intel. Uh, you can also update your LAN if you have some issue, but normally with Windows update, you should be fine for this one. And the last one is the BIOS. So make sure that you update your BIOS. Uh, it improves a lot of different stuff. Uh, compatibility with memory. So if you're using XMP profile, it will also uh, help you with your boost clock. Uh, a lot of different stuff that like you can see it in the description over there for each uh, version of the BIOS with what thing that they improve or they add new features sometimes. So really important to do that. The last one that you really need to uh, update is your GPU driver. So make sure that you update your GPU driver. So if you have Intel, AMD or uh, Nvidia. So for an example on Nvidia in the GeForce experience, you can go to driver, checks for update, and you're gonna make sure that you have the latest driver from Nvidia, as you can see over there. AMD have pretty much the same option in their, uh, like some, in their drivers. So this is pretty much it. The second uh, tweak that I will recommend you is don't use any antivirus. Uh, it's causing a lot of issue for gaming, so don't use that. Just use the one from Windows and make sure that it's always updated. And don't do crazy stuff on your computer, you know, email, don't open .exe random file and stuff like that. And you will be fine. The third tweak is the energy plan. A lot of uh, people have issue with that, uh, mostly on laptop sometimes it's weird you plug your laptop in the wall and it, the the behavior of the laptop is like you're, you're on your battery so you don't have like the maximum boost from your cpu gpu and stuff like that so really important here right energy so you have power sleep setting go to additional power setting over there 
And me, uh, when you install the chipset from AMD, you're getting a preferred plan from AMD. So for AMD, for an example, you can use Balance or high prof uh, performance. I did a couple of tests between both, and uh, Balance is fine for me. I'm pre I'm doing pretty much the same thing in sitting bench when I benchmark my uh, CPU. So that's why I went for Balance. But normally, you will just have the one from Windows. So go with something like Balance or even high performance if you want to make sure that you everything run as faster as they can so really important and don't use for sure power saver saver because uh your cpu and gpu will not be at 100 percent uh you can also do the same thing on your gpu so right click here go to your control panel if you have an nvidia you can pretty much do the same thing on amd so in the manage 3d setting you can go to power management mode make sure that it's at prefer maximum performance by default it will be at optimal power but you want to use this one and pretty much uh yeah it's automatically save after that so this is pretty much it for the power saving after that uh game mode the fourth tweak right game mode sorry game mode over there make sure that game mode is at off uh i did a lot of tests with the game mode like 25 different game with benchmark and stuff like that sometimes it help you a little bit like two three F fps improvement but mostly you're getting like random stuttering random lag because of that so for me game mode should be at off also the xbox game bar make sure this one is at off and all those capture stuff from windows background recording and recorded audio and i also recommend like don't use any overlay discord overlay nvidia amd overlay make sure if, that everything is at off it's taking resources <clears throat> And sometimes it's causing like stuttering, lag, and stuff like that. The only overlay that you can really use is like MSI Afterburner or other program like that because you just want to see like statistic, uh, GPU, CPU, uh, temperature, your boost clock, and uh, your and then the, the amount of FPS that you have on your game. So MSI Afterburner is pretty much fine when you uh, use that. So the next one, the GPU scheduling, just write GPU in your search bar, open the graphics setting, make sure that the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on, you will need to restart your computer after that. I did, I did a couple of tests with this one, honestly it's more like working on entry and mid range level computer, uh, you also need like uh, the Siri 1000 or something recent like the 2000, 3000 series from Nvidia. Not too sure if it's working right now with AMD. So uh, yeah, so you will gain like three to 5% boost in your FPS uh, when you have like an entry or mid range level. For sure if you have like um, 2080 Ti with I don't know, a Ryzen 3900, you will not see any difference with this one for now, but they, Microsoft uh, told like the developer and stuff like that, they are working on like the way they manage the GPU with gaming and it will be better uh, over time. The next one is the appearance of your window. So just write appearance, open it. So this is more, more like if you have like a really old computer or laptop that really struggling with gaming, go with adjust for best performance. So you will like remove all the, those animation, transparency and stuff like that on Windows 10. You're gonna make sure that all your resources are concentrated to the game, not Windows. So this is a way to getting like more res like to, to save some RAM and save maybe some GPU power on your computer. After that, just press OK when you're done with it. The other uh, optimization that I will show you, it's about your mouse. So just write mouse here to see the mouse setting. Go to additional mouse option. Go to pointer option. Make sure the end ends pointer precision is unchecked. You don't want any acceleration in your mouse. Uh, a lot of like uh, driver from like Logitech, uh, Razer and stuff like that, you can do directly on your driver, but not all the people are using those kind of mouses. So really important, just uncheck this and it will help you a lot with your muscle memory when you're gaming. Like if you're playing a first person shooter, you don't want any acceleration because it will kind of fuck up your uh, <laughs> muscle memory. So really important, uncheck this one and press OK. Uh, the nine one nine. The, the display setting. Click display setting over there. Go to advanced display setting, and the refresh rate. A lot of people, uh, when they're uh, speaking to me in my uh, Twitch stream, by the way, it's Kefren TV. 
um, they're like, yeah, I just bought a new uh, screen and it's 144 hertz. And I'm asking like them, are, are you sure that you're running it at 144 hertz? And when they look at Windows, they're running it at 60. So really important. Windows uh, add a new feature on the uh, Windows 10 to make sure that you're seeing your refresh rate over there. So really important to make sure that you're running the uh, maximum refresh rate from your screen. Also, you can see it in your uh, driver, graphic card driver, but look at it, make sure that you're running it because a lot of people are not doing it. Now we will look at the disk, so go to this PC. So for an example, on the C drive, right click on it, go to properties, uh, the disk cleanup, pretty important to do like each month or two months a cleanup. So make sure that you delete your file over there. And also you have the cleanup system file that you can do. So it will run, make sure that you it erase like a, a Windows update cleanup, temporary files and stuff like that. You press OK, you press delete and everything will be clean on your drive. You can do that for your C drive normally. All those files would be in your C drive, but you can look at other uh, drive if you're using it for other stuff. And the 11 one is the disk optimize. So the disk optimize, it's pretty much the same things. You stay in properties, you go to tool. After that, you go to optimize and defragment drive, click optimize. And now depending on if you have an SSD, NVMe, or uh, you have like a, an old hard drive that will be, will have some fragments. So for an SSD, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. You just click optimize and Windows will optimize your SSD, so everything is fine. If you have like a no school hard drive, uh, it will analyze your uh, drive and after that it will defragment it. So if you see 0% fragmented, you don't really need to do it. For me, it's pretty much, uh, it's okay. But if you have like an old drive that you're, you're running for the past, I don't know, eight years, probably you will have a lot of like percentage of fragments or so really important to optimize it. So now for the overclocking, uh, overclocking will for sure give you uh, a nice boost in your FPS, but I have dedicated video for that, uh, how to overclock a CPU, how to overclock a GPU. I will just talk about it a little bit over here. So first of all, for your RAM, really make sure that you enable your XMP profile in your BIOS, really important. Also some like, uh, Gigabyte MSI or even Asus when sometimes when you download the drivers you can do it like straight up in Windows You don't need to do it in the BIOS, but I recommend to do it in the BIOS So when you buy a computer or you just like modify a computer uh, It will always be uh, by default. So your XMP profile will not be uh, enabled So really important to enable it to have like the maximum megahertz of your RAM and also a proper voltage for your RAM So you're gonna make sure that you optimize your RAM also, if you want to overclock your CPU, you can download the whatever Intel software, AMD Ryzen Master, if you have an AMD processor. Also, me, I'm doing it straight up in the BIOS, so I'm doing my overclock over there. I'm testing it with some Cinebench and uh, some testing that I want to make sure that my overclock is stable. So this is pretty much how you do it. But as I say, like just watch one of my video about overclocking. I will show you all the steps. One more thing just before uh, I'm going to talk uh, about the MSI Afterburner. Um, when you install a game, really important, always choose the best uh, hard drive that you have. So if you have an SSD, install your game in the SSD. If you have an M2, use your M2, really important. All those picture videos, music, uh, stuff like that, install the, just put them on your uh, uh, old hard drive and really make sure that your Windows is using the best drive that you have and also all your games. Finally, uh, the overclock of your graphic card. Again, I have a dedicated video on how to do it. So download a software like MSI Afterburner. It's really easy. You just put your power limit at the maximum. And after that, you test your core clock. You test like each 20 megahertz, run a benchmark. Uni Engine is free. If you have 3D Mark, go with 3D Mark. Uh, so upgrade your core clock. After that, do your memory. Uh, and also you can set a better fan speed if you want to be more aggressive with your overclock or you you want to lower your uh, temp over there. Uh, and you don't really have to touch your uh, voltage. You can do it if you, are, you have more experience. Uh, but if you're like a noob with overclocking, don't use the voltage. Do, just do like as I just said. And uh, again, I have a MSI Afterburner dedicated video that will show you how to do it. 
So that's about it, guys. If you have any question about anything that I just explained, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your PC, so CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.